Hello all, welcome to part 27 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I am going to show you how to use tags in Cucumber. So let's get started. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use tags in Cucumber, okay, with a practical demonstration. Let me quickly switch to Eclipse ID where I'm going to explain or practically demonstrate all these examples I mentioned here. These are the things that I'm going to cover in this session, guys, one by one, okay? So let me open the feature files first, login.feature file. You see here in the login.feature file, there are a few sample scenarios that we have created as part of the previous sessions. So what I'm going to do is uh, before this uh, scenario, I'll write at the rate, okay? So this is login related scenarios, right? All the scenarios are login related. I'll write at the rate login. These are user defined tags, guys. Okay, these are not predefined tags. Any name you can write here. You can even write user login also if you want. Okay, at the rate user login also you can write. These are user defined tags. To make it simple, I'm writing at the rate login. And to make this uh, kind of scenario unique out of other login scenarios, I'll just find out something from this scenario which is kind of unique. That is valid credentials is unique. So I'll write. I'll write all these things in lowercase, guys, so that I will not forget, uh, okay, the tags. Each and every tag I will provide in the lowercase, okay, so that I can remember the stuff. Otherwise, it's case sensitive, guys, okay? It's better to provide in either lower or uppercase, so that I'll provide lowercase so that I can remember, okay? Valid credentials is another unit tag I am giving here. And here, at the rate all. At the rate all means all scenarios. For all the scenarios, I'm going to provide this tag, okay? For all the scenarios, in this feature file, in other feature files, I'm going to provide at the rate add tag. And apart from that, I'll mention this as smoke test, okay? You see, login with valid credentials. Uh, this is a basic test, right? So it will falls under smoke. And also it falls under the regression also. As part of regression, so it also be able to run. And also, you can have any number of tags here, okay? Before the scenarios uh, representing, maybe the scenario is related to a particular user story or Anything, guys, any test case ID you want to give in the form of a tag, you can give. Okay, for now, I'm not giving them. Okay, for now, whatever I'm feeling, I'm giving here. But in real time projects, people also give the tag names as uh, user story IDs and uh, test case IDs. Okay, depending on the projects. Now, I'll go to the second scenario, guys. Okay, at the rate. Okay, in the second scenario, I'll write at the rate login. And uh, this is invalid credentials. This scenario is unique as part of invalid credentials. So I'll write invalid credentials. Then I'll write at the rate all, at the rate, uh, this is also smoke guys, at the rate regression I'll write, okay? Regression. Now I'll go to the next scenario. I'll quickly write the tags here, login scenario. And here, this is valid email and invalid password. Okay, valid email and invalid password, at the rate all, at the rate regression. I'll not write at the rate smoke here. I'm writing at the rate regression here. Here I'm writing at the rate login again, at the rate invalid email, and valid password, then I'll write at the rate all at the rate regression. Okay, at the rate regression. Now, in the last scenario, I'll be writing at the rate login and I'll write at the rate no credentials, no credentials at the rate all at the rate regression. I'll write so there is a common act here for all these scenarios that is at the rate login is common and at the rate all is also common. So I can move this at the rate all to the top of this. Uh, Feature guys, okay. At the top of this feature, I'll write at the rate all. So when I write at the rate all on the top of this feature, at the rate all will be applied for all the scenarios in this feature file. I don't have to mention it everywhere, okay. That's another thing that we can learn from the tags, okay. Learn about the tags. You don't have to provide at the rate all for all the scenarios in this feature file. Simply put that at the rate all on the top of the feature, it will be applied for all the scenarios in this feature file. Now let's move on to the next one, restart.feature. Here also we have a lot of scenarios on the top of the feature. I'll write at the rate all as usual. And here I'll write at the rate register, at the rate mandatory, mandatory fields I'll write, okay? At the rate, uh, this is all smoke, at the rate uh, regression I'll write, okay? Now here this scenario I'll write as at the rate register, at the rate all fields, okay? At the rate, uh, uh, this is uh, also smoke, uh, sorry, this is also smoke and this is also regression, okay? I'm writing this as regression also. Now, third scenario, I'm writing at the rate register, I'll say at the rate, uh, uh, no, no details, at the rate, uh, regression, I'll write, okay? So it's not a smoke. And here, I'll write at the rate register, uh, register, 
at the rate duplicate email, duplicate email, some unique uh, unique tags I'm writing as these are all user defined, okay, not predefined at the rate regression. Like this, all the scenarios I completed in the restart.feature file. I'll go to the search.feature file. Here also, I'll, before the feature, I'll write at the rate all tag, which will be applied for all the scenarios. Here I'll write at the rate search, at the rate valid product. I'll say valid product here. Uh, here I'll say at the rate smoke, at the rate uh, regression. Okay. Only one scenario I'll make it smoke guys in this uh, feature file. Here this one at the rate search, at the rate uh, non existing product, at the rate regression. Okay. Uh, at the rate search, here at the rate no product, no product, at the rate regression. Okay. Done. Like this, I'll keep on writing, guys. Okay. So all the scenarios in all the feature files have provided the respective tags, guys. Now I'll open my runner.java. And now with now I know that which tags are mentioned for which scenarios I know. So I'll go to the my runner and here I'll add one more attribute in this cucumber options known as comma tax. Tax is equal to here in double quotes, I can provide the tax. So to improve the readability, I'll just press enter, guys, and just press tab here so that you can. Understand, okay, this cucumber options, these are all cucumber options only, okay? So I can write in a single line or multiple lines, that's up to us, okay? I can organize this. In the tags, if I say at the rate all, what will happen is all the scenarios in all the feature files, because everywhere for all the scenarios, for all the features I provided at the rate all tag. So all the scenarios in all the feature files will run. So let's see, five plus four plus uh, three, that is 12 and uh, two data driven test uh, extra uh, that is 14 total 14 uh, should run 14 uh, 14 scenarios should run okay first one in the login is a data driven so along with that we should have 14 runs okay so you see a lot of uh, scenarios have run to actually find out the count you can go to this jnit uh, jnit uh, tab my test runner you can see under user login first scenario got run three times because this is a data driven scenario okay scenario outline one and remaining scenarios one two three four got run only one time under user registration, register with mandatory fields, register with all fields, register without providing any fields, register with duplicate email address one one time. And uh, such functionality, such for valid product, non existing product, and be, without providing any product. You see, all the 14 out of 14 scenarios got run and they got passed. That's fine. Now, again, I'll go to the myrunner.java. This time, I'll not provide at the rate all, I'll only provide at the rate login. That means only the login feature related scenarios will run. Okay, right click run as. JUnit test only the scenarios from the login dot feature file are going to run. That is a uh, uh, they are around seven, I guess. Okay, seven scenarios will run. First, two, first scenario is data driven, so three will be counted, and remaining four are four scenarios. Okay, four plus three, seven. Seven should run. You can go to that. You see everything got passed, and you can go to this uh, JUnit uh, my test run my runner, and you can see here one, two, three data driven test, and uh, remaining one one time. Okay, remaining scenario four scenarios, so only one one time. First scenario three times. Total seven out of seven. Now, if I want to run uh, register related tests, scenarios, register scenarios, there are four register related scenarios in the register.feature file. You will see that using the runner class with the help of this tags attribute and value uh, as a tag, okay, you will see only four scenarios will run, okay. You can clearly see here under user registration, all the four scenarios got run, okay, and everything got passed. Now, from search, I want to run three scenarios. So, here at the rate search, I'll provide because I provided this tag name before every scenario in the search dot feature file to segregate this feature file scenario from the other feature files. You will see the three scenarios from the search dot feature file will run. You see the three feature files got run here and you can come here and see that and such functionality three scenarios from the search functionality got run. Again, I'll go here this time. I want to run the uh, smoke related only smoke. Okay. Out of all these feature files, uh, the first feature, uh, first scenario and second scenario are smoke here in the register. Also, first and second scenarios are smoke. And in the search, only one scenario is smoke. Total five, but because of the data driven test in the first scenario, it will be running three times. Okay. Three plus one, four, five, six, seven. Total seven tests should run as part of the smoke. Only smoke tests. Uh, four from login, two from register, and one from search will run now. Okay. Just go here on the JU test, you can see. Four from login. You see, first scenario got run three times because of data driven, and second scenario got run only one time. So this is 
second registration two smoke tests are there in such functionality we have only one smoke test. all the smoke tests got run this is the flexibility we are getting guys if you want to run only the smoke test only the recreation test okay we can provide all those stuff here okay let's say i want to run a, a specific scenario from the login dot feature file uh that is a valid credential scenario okay valid credentials tag name if i have given right a unique uh, tag name I have given for one of the scenario. So only that particular scenario from the login dot feature file will now run. In JUnit test, you will see only one scenario running from the login dot feature file. Okay. Uh, there is a problem here. You see, uh, maybe uh, valid creden. You see, there is a spelling mistake. Okay. If there is a spelling mistake, there no scenarios will run. Okay. So I have to write the proper uh, uh, without I have I have removed the spelling mistake. Now it will run. Okay. Right click run as JUnit test. It will run one scenario from the login dot feature file that is having the valid thing. That is a data driven scenario, guys. Data driven scenario. So login with valid credentials with the first set of data. Login with valid credentials with second set of data, with third set of data. Okay. Done. Only that uh, feature file has run. Now I'll say no credentials. Only no credential scenario from the login dot feature file is going to run. Okay. Only one scenario is going to run from the login dot feature files. You see that only one scenario will run. Okay. From the you see, only this scenario got run uh, from the user login that is login without providing any credentials. Okay. So now I want to run two scenarios. Okay. This scenario at the rate no credentials one and at the rate uh, what you call invalid credentials one. Okay. Two creden. Creden. I have to be good with the uh, spelling mistakes. So I should not make any spelling. Valid credentials. Okay. So at the rate, no credentials, at the rate, invalid credentials. There is one scenario in the login.feature file with uh, invalid credentials. There is one scenario with no credentials tag in the login.feature files. So here, or means both will run, okay? Only one tag name is enough, okay? If a particular scenario has at the rate, no credentials, it will run. If a particular scenario has invalid credentials, that scenario also will run, okay? Like this. You can you can give any number of uh, tags here or, or, or like that, okay? So the scenarios having any of these uh, tags will run, okay? Any of these tags will run because we are using or operator here okay you will see two scenarios running one scenario you see two scenarios got run here one scenario that is uh, saying login with invalid credentials other one is no credentials without providing any credentials okay that's what is the thing so two tax related scenarios got run what if i put i no scenarios will run there is no particular scenario having both the tax right you see in the login dot feature file we don't have a single scenario having both the tax right this combination tax are not there so no scenarios will run no scenarios will run. Zero scenarios. You can see, you see, no scenarios got run. If you go to JNIT, you see, you will not see any scenarios running here. Okay. So fine. Now that is the IND. Okay. So IND combination, a proper combination I'll give you. Uh, that is at the rate login, I will say at the rate login. Okay. IND. Uh, I'll write at the rate. Uh, uh, otherwise, I'll write at the rate register. At the rate register. At the rate. Register tag should be there, and also at the same time, at the rate smoke should be there. Okay, smoke tag should be there. So the combination of scenarios are there in the register dot feature file. There are two scenarios having the smoke tag and register tag in the register dot feature file. So two scenarios will run now. Okay, the combination, a scenario having the combination of these tags will run. You see two tags, two scenarios will run. First scenario, second scenario. How? You see here, register with mandatory fields, register with all fields. These two scenarios in the register.feature files have register tag at same time smoke tag. That's why they got run. Now I'll go to the runner here and uh, I'll write one more thing. That is, uh, I'll write uh, not ops, okay? Not, not operator I'll use. Not, at the rate, no credentials. Except no credentials, run all the remaining scenarios in all the feature files. Okay, if you see any feature file scenario having no credentials, don't run that particular scenario. For that case, you have to use not run this. So 13 scenarios will run. Only one scenario will not run. That is no credentials tag related scenario. We'll see 13 scenarios will be running guys. Total 13 scenarios. You see 13 out of 13. In the user.login, no credential scenario has not run. And remaining all scenarios in the other feature files in the login feature files have run. Okay, now I'll do a combination here. Uh, I'll say at the rate smoke, I not. Okay, this is another combination. At the rate smoke means here uh, we uh, here we have uh, what you can say three scenarios, uh, data driven scenarios three. 
uh, plus uh, another one invalidity. This is this four are smoke, and they are having no credentials. Okay, so this four will run in the register. Also, smoke are this first two. Okay, four plus two six. They don't have no credentials. Okay, so it will not run. And uh, third one. Uh, only first scenario having smoke and no, uh, it doesn't have no credential stack. Okay, so like this also we can write guys. Okay, and run the runner class. This not can be used with one other sites. Okay, so you will see uh, this thing. Okay, from the login four will be running, from the user registration two smoke will be running, from search one smoke scenario will be running. They doesn't have no credentials. Okay, they doesn't have no credential stack. Or if I write at the rate, at the rate uh, login, I'm not no credentials, except no credentials tag one, remaining all scenarios in the login will run. Okay, right click run as JNIT unit test, except no credentials scenario, remaining all scenarios in the login will run. Okay, you see only login feature file related scenarios, which doesn't have no credentials scenario, you see, no, no credentials scenario has not run. So guys, this is how we can use tags to customize the running. Okay, tags are very useful. Okay, suddenly the client comes and asks you to run only the smoke test. What's the uh, what we have to do? We have to go with the tags in Cucumber to make that simplify. Okay, just mention the tags. Appropriate scenarios will run. Cucumber is so sophisticated that so easy that you can run any uh, customized running of the scenarios from any of the feature files that is possible with the help of tags in. Cucumber tags in Cucumber will make it so easy for us to run the client requested scenarios. Okay, sometimes client will ask you to run all the scenarios. Sometimes client will ask you to run only smoke scenario. Sometimes client will ask you to run only, uh, let's say, register and search. What do you have to do for register and search? At the rate register, you would say, and at the rate, uh, and at the rate, uh, at the rate search, I'll say. Okay, only the scenarios from register and search will run. Login scenarios will not run. Uh, here I, and, uh, I I should not mention I and guys. No, this is not the correct way. Okay, no scenarios will run because I mentioned I and there. That is a mistake. I have to mention or okay at the rate register or at the rate search. That means both the scenarios from both the feature files will now run. Okay, there is a four scenarios from register, three scenarios from search will run. Four from register, three from search will run. But if I say uh, run all the scenarios except uh, uh, except login, okay, so not of at the rate login, I can say okay. That means all the remaining feature files, there may be uh, hundreds of feature files, all the feature files will run. And uh, from the login feature file, none of the scenarios will run because all the scenarios in the login feature file are mentioned with at the rate login tag. Okay, hope you're able to get how much customization we are getting in running the scenarios. Okay, so at the rate and uh, not at the rate login means uh, register and search will run. Okay, both register and search related scenarios. There is four plus three, seven scenarios got run. So guys, hope you understood how to use tags in Cucumber and how to customize running of the scenarios based on the client requirements and all. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.